this is first experiment for applying uh, flying ad hoc network using network simulator first of all we run uh, ns2 over ubuntu so we open ubuntu operating system the ns3 source code uh, can be found in file ns on all three ns 3.27 this is the version we use uh, all examples on source code uh, applied in ns3 stored in scratch file so this is the fnet source code for the flying ad hoc network we open this file we see the source code first code is including the header so we must uh, include all headers necessary for this model okay point to point ib4 routing core model network model application model mobility model configuration store wi-fi model and other then we specify the network simulator and s3 after that we create the number of nodes here we in our example we have 20 nodes so we create 20 nodes uh, specify the standard wireless communication we have used IEEE uh, 18 to 11 p and they support other uh, wireless standard communication such as a b n and work both on 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz for Mac layer, we speci specify Mac layer. Uh, the type of our network is ad hoc network, but it's flying, not uh, on the ground. So we specify the Mac protocol and specify the data rate. Here, the channel of Mac is uh, 54 megabyte per second. This is other parameter for uh, Mac layer and Wi-Fi layer. For routing protocol, in this uh, first ex uh, experiment, we use AODV, ad hoc on diamond routing of protocol, it, uh, standard protocol used in ad hoc network. Okay, we specify then the IP address, this uh, first IP address for node. In this uh, example, we have one source node and 19 other nodes flying, they exchange the data between them. For mobility model, we use Markov, uh, Gauss Markov mobile, mobility model. It is a three dimension mobility model. It's very necessary to use in uh, flying ad hoc network. Then we have uh, defined the area. Here we have uh, 100 meter and 100, it's a plain XY. And the height here we uh, specify to ISO. 100 meter it can be changed to 1000 meter meaning one kilometer depending on the application on the simulation scenario also have defined some other parameters that can be used for our experiment then the specified the transport protocol used here is udb okay uh, specify the application meaning the destination node and the source node then specify the number of packets it can be one to others uh, depending on the application as we mentioned before the interval between packets the size of packet also it's depend on the application it can be data packet or multimedia packet so we can change the size uh, the time for the packet and the number of packet exchange then we specify the source node after that we will finish all uh, this by analyzing tool external tool or internal tool for ns3 for example we need to netnam so we create file fnet3x.xml this extension used by network animator also we create a trace file that uh, store all events and formation uh, during the simulation then we will analyze this data to get out the performance measured okay this is the source code now we run the terminal we must change directory to the 
NS3 this is NL1 then change directory to NS3.27 after that we will run this uh, source code uh, using WAF hash run scratch fnet this is the command for running the NS3 uh, NS3 sorry WAF run scratch the source code of fnet we'll see okay it's running correct with any error if there is any error in source code it will appear here if there is not it will say finish successfully now we can check the content of this ls will show the contact we see if we have this is uh, fnet trace file 3 and this is fnet xml file used for network animator and fnet dot trace file store all events happened during the simulation by the way simulation time here is 10 seconds because it's first experiment it can be extend to more time so it reflect the realistic of the simulation scenario now we will run the network animator so we need to go back step okay we will change directory to the network animator this is network animator copy paste here run now we will run the network animator after moving to it is directory this is a command used for running network animator Enter. this is uh, the window of the uh, network animator with ns3 okay open and specify the file to see how it run in the network animator file called fnet3 in our example this is xml extension dot xml open okay this is our network zoom it now we uh, can remove this grid and increase the number of nodes more more okay, okay we will now running this uh, simulation see how this each point represent uh, UAV or FNET nodes and they uh, move according to Gauss Markov mobility model and exchange data here we see the time for the simulation we set up to 10 so the simulation stop we can see this is 20 nodes node 0 star to node 19 and this is IP address and other information mark okay also we can see packets if we check one of this box see how to analyze but uh, a network animator is favorite to see how the simulation scenario uh, occur for a trace uh, file analyze we use another software called trace matrix okay now move to trace matrix LS. this is trace matrix change directory to trace matrix now we will run this software to see how this is a command use for running trace matrix okay it's run correct open the trace file which is stored in ns3 file uh, point 27 called fnet trace this is fnet trace open now execute analyze okay it's run correctly simulation is number of line in the trace file 
simulation time we set it to 10 seconds so it's approximately that nodes we have create 20 nodes so we have 20 nodes we can get each information about each node for example packet sent by node 0 is 10 packet received okay throughput good put lambda and other information the same for node 3 4 5 and all nodes if we ha want to measure the performance this trace matrix can measure the throughput its number of, uh, of successful packet received by destination uh, divided by the simulation time here node 1 throughput is 49 and other number 1 throughput number 2 and so on other performance metrics can measure lambda it's uh, except uh, represent the number of packets divide by the number of nodes okay so here we have also lambda streams we can have also the number of packets sent packet to drop packet uh, sequence if congestion occur in the network due to the high traffic or uh, the mobility of nodes can be a uh, congestion happen when happen the trace file will record that packets drop here is no packets drop because the traffic here is low so it's number zero all over the system can be also read here for streams for each node in addition we can measure the throughput uh, through and uh, lambda we can measure end-to-end -end delay and also we can measure packet delivery ratio but must some modification to this to be measured from the trace file this is the first uh, experiment for flying ad hoc network it is uh, not uh, complicated but not easy uh, we will develop another experiment in more detail thanks